As a perioperative administrator, I was concerned about our incidence of retained foreign bodies. Although our rate was not significant, even one retained sponge is unacceptable. After numerous policy changes, standardization of our count practices, and nursing assertiveness training, we only managed to decrease our rate, not eliminate it. We finally made it to zero with the implementation of the computer assisted counting system. This system increased patient safety, decreased operating room time looking for lost sponges, increased nursing satisfaction with the counting system, and decreased costs. Administratively, the benefit gained was the confidence that we were providing safe patient care to all of our patients in the operating room. With the computer-assisted system, it allows you to be able to have documentation and proof that an actual count was done and the count was correct. We considered the cost of count discrepancies from several different angles. We looked at the cost of increased operating room time and the need to take an x-ray. Retained sponges and towels may also result in the need to reoperate, treatment for infection, and increased length of stay in the hospital. Additionally, we looked at the potential for increased cost of litigation. What we learned was that the potential costs without the computer-assisted tracking system were horrendous, and by eliminating these, the cost of purchase was more than justified. Our primary concern is for our patient's safety, but controlling costs is also our responsibility. We are aware that Medicare and other insurance companies are not paying for mistakes. We do not want to make mistakes, and we want to be cost effective. Never events are medical mistakes that should never happen. Erroneous counts and retained sponges fall into this category. In a study conducted five years ago, the estimated added cost for a procedure with a count discrepancy was close to $1,000. That number is significantly higher today and will continue to grow as time passes. If a retained foreign body occurs, the costs are even greater. The patient has to experience a second operation. This can cost more than the original if infection and foreign body reactions need treating and hospital stay is increased. The average cost to hospitals per retained incident is $250,000. Both count discrepancies and retained items have considerable negative impact on the patient. Litigation costs also come into play. Millions of dollars can be the outcome of a jury trial awarding a patient restitution. By using a computer-assisted tracking system, count discrepancies are fewer and misplaced sponges and towels are found and identified. Procedurally, the added costs are estimated at $12 to $15, which is significantly less and far better for the patients than the other scenarios. The study done by Brigham and Women's Hospital, in conjunction with Harvard, found that barcoded computer-assisted surgical sponge counting reduced the chance of counting errors during patient surgery by a factor of 3 to 1. This study was based on 300 general surgery patients and showed that the barcoded surgical sponge system detected over 10 times more counting errors than traditional counting methods. I've been a nurse for 15 years. Before, we used to inform the doctors that the count was correct and even if there was any discrepancies, sometimes it was met with resistance. Now we have the proof. We did a comparison of the three count technologies available on the market. We found that the computer-assisted counting system best met our goals. It's a team effort. And the computer-assisted system is ideal because it alerts us that there are discrepancies in the count. And we are able to go back and find and check to see where the discrepancies are and, and resolve them before the patient leaves the table. The system is a good system because it eliminates the chances of you having a retained sponge or towel during surgery. It cuts down on the chances of you being sued. 
it cuts down on the chances of the patient having to be reoperated on because of an, a retained item. It decreases the amount of chances that a patient will have in terms of infection and a longer hospital stay.